Hi, I'm Guy Cordell with Miniman International. Today we're going to be talking about the MaxRide 20 Sweeper Vacuum. So this is a 24-inch cleaning path, uh, vacuumized sweeper vacuum. So what that means is we have a sweeper brush uh, in front. That's located here. So we have a large sweeper brush right here that's going to be catching our big debris. Uh, and we have a vacuumized smaller brush here. Um, so this is your smaller uh, brush here. You'll see behind here that there is a vacuum attachment that sucks up all the fine debris, dust particles, and stuff like that into the vacuum bag that we'll show you in just a minute. So the way this operates is the sweeper brush is grabbing all the big debris. So it's going to be leaves, paper clips, uh, pieces of things that are on the floor. Uh, and it's gonna be flipping it into this hopper. So as you can see, you're gonna see all this debris that's into the hopper right here. Now what this is gonna do, it's gonna save you on vacuum bags uh, and such going here. So all that big debris is going here. So our competition has a plastic, very small tray that gets clogged up real easy. This is a very heavy powder coated steel tray uh, where all this big debris and fuzz and stuff like that is gonna go. Uh, very easy to dump out and clean out. We're gonna slide it back into the unit here. And the brushes are very easy. Uh, to attach back on, just like this. Catch the gear on the other side. Uh, the little covers have like a pivot point at the bottom. So we're gonna grab them right down here. We're gonna slide the brushes in just like this. And then we're going to lock the brushes in uh, just like so. Same thing on the other side. It's got a gear on this side here. So as we're sliding it in, just lift up on it, catch the gear where it's at. And then we're gonna just pivot the cover uh, to hold the brush in into the bearing block just like that and then it has a metal latch on this side here that locks it in now all your debris that the hopper doesn't get is going to go into this vacuum chamber right here where your vacuum bag is here uh, so you notice there's a static electricity bar here uh, to hold the tray down and then you have your sealed vacuum bag here so your vacuum bag here has a seal on it here you're going to make sure that goes over the ridge here on the intake manifold here so you take that, put that just like this, uh, close the chamber. This is your airflow from your vacuum motor, and you're gonna close the sucker down just like that. Now to charge the unit, uh, back here, we have a cover. This metal cover pops off like this, and you have an onboard charger right here. This onboard charger is, you're just gonna plug it right into the wall. It'll have an indicator right here showing whether it's charged. Uh, if it's yellow, it's almost charged, and if it's green, it's ready to go. This machine comes standard with AGM batteries. So what that means is they're, uh, it's a sealed battery. There's no maintenance to do to these batteries. So there's no water to put in them or nothing to maintain on the batteries. The only thing you wanna make sure is that the cables are tight. Uh, if you see that the cables are loose, you wanna make sure you tighten those cables up. Uh, the charger cord st stores right here on top of the batteries and you're good to go here. Now, if you happen to pick up a diaper or something very large and the brushes uh, stop on you. Yeah, your circuit breakers are right back here. So this is going to be for the uh, side room. This is going to be for the vacuum motor. This is going to be for your um, main brushes. And then this is going to be your panel or uh, display here. All your electrical is located in the back of the panel right here to get to any boards or anything there. Uh, this is a vacuum inlet right here. So you can test the suction uh, coming out of the, the machine here. And then this would drop down and hook up to that back brush for the vacuum eye sweeper. Now, let's go to the operations of the unit right here. So when you hop on the unit, um, you have a key switch here. So straight up and down is off, turn it to the right one click, and it's gonna turn on. You wanna wait for the unit to boot up. Once the unit is booted up and you get the green go ahead, you're ready to go. You have a forward and reverse switch right here. So when you put it in reverse, you're gonna get the backup alarm going there. Put it forward and you're ready to go. Now you can just transport the unit. So you could just drive the unit just like this. Your pedal is a variable pedal, just like a car. So the faster you push it, the faster you're gonna go. The more you let off, the slower you're gonna go. Manual deck drop here. So you're just gonna grab this sucker, drop the deck onto the floor. And then we have our vacuum brush over here, or our vacuum switch over here to turn our vacuum on. That activates our vacuum motor, the brushes, and the vacuum come on when you push the pedal. So when you push the pedal, it's gonna turn the unit on. Now we're ready to start cleaning. Now, when you're cleaning up against the surface on this unit here, um, 
the stand over there, Tyler. Um, when you're cleaning up against a wall or something up on this unit, you always want to clean on this side of the unit against the wall. So if you notice, this side is offset over here. So if the wall is right up against here, you'll be able to clean right against that wall. So that brush in the front is going to grab all the dust bunnies and all that kind of things that's in the corners and edges and stuff that get up against the wall that nobody wants to get to. So you ride that sucker right on the wall. This side is offset a little bit there. So you get that offset cleaning against the wall. The roller wheel in the front just kind of, if you hit the wall by accident, it's just going to kind of roll off the wall. Um, so that way, you know, you don't damage the wall or anything uh, and you're good to go. Now, when you're done cleaning, you want to just raise up your, your lever over here like this. Uh, turn your vacuum uh, switch off here. So once you push the button, you're going to turn the vacuum switch off uh, and you're good to go. The only other switch on this machine is going to be this unit here. What that does is turn the speed down to where it's a little bit slower speed. So it's got a picture of a turtle. The steering wheel is going to come offset. Uh, we've got to have three points of contact uh, for uh, steering regulation. So with, with those three points, uh, it's going to be offset so you can see the panel as you're driving. So it's going to be offset a little bit. So, um, you know, it's not the um, uh, geometric. Everybody wants to have a steering wheel like this, but it is actually offset. So you can't see the panel over here. Um, and that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.